What up everybody, it is Miles at Miles of Color everywhere online. Today I'm showing you how I edit my TikToks using Premiere Pro. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok uh, as well. I'm waiting for it, waiting for it. Nice. Uh, today we're drinking water. And I took my cats on a walk and I'm telling you because I've been trapped in this house for uh, ever and I haven't spoken to anyone in days, so. You're welcome for that information. Let me tell you why I am qualified to be teaching you how to edit TikToks. Uh, I currently had a TikTok pop off, so I'd like to hop into what makes a photography TikTok work. I can deconstruct a few as well. Might not for time's sake, but I'm gonna tell you at least what it takes to make one appeal to people. So you want something that is relatable. There's a lot of photographers that walk around taking photos with people, strangers on the street. Anyone's photo could be taken within that time, so that's relatable. You need a wow factor, so a lot of people have really amazing makeup artists or props or just themes that they use to appeal to people, and then the result, the final result of the photo is just insane. Or you have to evoke emotion, so some sort of story that goes along with the photo taking process, or, or you can have all three in one single TikTok video. Wow. Which would be just, amazingly powerful. Okay, with all that said, let's hop over to my computer and edit a TikTok together. So to follow along with this video, you will need three things. You're going to need Premiere Pro, you're going to need a behind the scenes video of yourself taking photos, and you're going to need a edited photo or photos. You can use a few, you don't, yeah, yes. Okay, before we actually get started here, so we do have Premiere open, you're going to need a song slash sound, correct, for your project, for TikTok. The way I've been doing it is I just screen record the song from Spotify, and then I drop it into whatever video editing software I use and just use the audio from that clip and slice that up. Um, alternatively, just buy the song, don't get into legal trouble by the song. Um, I'm using that Roxanne song. Okay, let's hop into this project. I'm going to make a new sequence. And I have digital SLR as the sequence preset, um, 1080 by 30p or 1080 30p, that's how you say it. Then go to settings and we want to actually have this I think it's 1080 on this side and then 1920 on the other side because that's going to make our video vertical for TikTok, right? Let's click enter. Boom. Beautiful. That's perfect. Now let's go and find our footage. Mine is in my project right now and I'm just going to drop it in. So our dimensions are set, everything is good. I have these three clips here. So I have my actual behind the scenes footage cool then I have my photo awesome and then I have my song which it's actually not going to play because I'm not recording the audio from my screen I don't believe but you'll you'll see everything um, happen so I'm going to right click on my clip and do new sequence this is my behind the scenes one and then just drag it over here to our current sequence cool and I'm going to keep existing settings if your clip is like this where it's like mine is not sized properly. Click on it in your timeline and then let's just go to scale, click that arrow and just drag to the right until it's sized up. Cool, there we go, perfect. And let's also go to our music clip, right click, new sequence from clip. Unlink, you're going to just highlight and then right click unlink. That's going to get rid of our actual video here. And now I'm going to have my audio. Cool, so I have my Roxanne song there. If you haven't heard it, it's a banger. Cool, and you just wanna find your point of the song where you obviously want your photo to show at a drop, right? So I like to get a little bit before the drop and then boom, where the drop is is when the final reveal of the photo will be. Cool, now I'm going to click and drag my photo over in here. Let's see how that looks. Whoa, super sized. Okay, so let's highlight that. I'll zoom in here because we're just working with these size of things. Cause we're just working with like, 
very uh, small clips over there. Okay, I'm going to just click scale and drag to the left. Cool, there we go, there is the photo. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of the, um, the total length of my behind the scenes clip. It also has audio, so I'm going to right click, unlink, and then just delete the audio. And then we're going to bring up our song right there. Let me listen to my song back one more time and just see if it's if it works where I want it. Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to find the actual spot where I want my video to go in and go out. Um, I kind of like where it starts with the amazing Sarah Adams right here. Cool. Click and drag left. And to cut, you just highlight, click C on your keyboard, and you can just make these cuts by clicking on that clip. Okay, I can even take away a little bit of Sarah's clip right here because I want it to show me because I'm the show. No, I'm just kidding. It's because it's like, what's going on? Boom. Okay. Now the next part is to bring in our picture so that it can drop in on the drop, right? So the problem I was dealing with was the keyframes weren't working and keyframes and keyframes will we'll cover the keyframes I was using in a second here. Okay. So let's switch over. There we have the photo. If yours is super zoomed in like mine, I brought mine down to 27, like 0.8. There we go, scale wise, I like that, I'm happy with that. And what I was rolling into the problem with, I dropped this JPEG in here, it just wasn't letting me do any type of effects to it, or it would let me do it, but it wouldn't show me in the preview. So right click on that JPEG and click nest. Okay. And it might not show up for a second here. Hopefully it will. Let me just drag it around real quick and make sure it's like, yeah, okay, cool. Cool. So what I want to do is just have a very slow kind of zoom to have a motion showing with this photo here. So we're just going to go to the very beginning of it. Make sure you're highlighting your, your uh, clip right here, which is the photo. Click scale. That's going to start your, uh, I guess, automation is what I would call it. Okay. So I want to stop like right there. Cool. So I'm going to have it stop right, like right there, click that keyframe and I'm going to click like 103 for my scale. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a little, maybe like 104. Cool. On this next one, I'm going to have it go like pan right to left here. So we're actually going to drag in um, another JPEG here to finish this up, which is the original that we're using this whole time. I want to flip it, so let's go click rotation 90. I'm gonna have it like pan left to right here. All right, I have it zoomed to where I want it to be. Let's start at the beginning of the clip. Nice, I'm going to click position. I want this to end around like like 11 seconds. Cool. Let's go there. Zoom in, super zoom. Right to the edge of the clip. Click this little button right here to add that keyframe. And let's pull and drag to the left. We'll have it end like right there. See if it worked. Moment of truth. Ugh. Okay, and guys, to export, pretty easy. You don't have to do anything too crazy. Click Command B, Control B, or M, actually, sorry, Command M. And we're just going to go to high quality 1080p with our preset. You're going to click Match Source right there. Let's just click and drag and make sure it's all good. Perfect, awesome, awesome. You can click the blue right here to name it. So I'll say Sarah Adams TikTok. Click save right there. Use maximum render quality. Render at maximum depth. And for our pass, that's that's fine. We can use a two pass. Maybe just there we go. Cool. And that's it, let's click export, and I'll meet you guys in a few seconds where we can watch it together on my phone and post it to TikTok.
Okay, currently have one cat on me. Actually, two cats on me. But I'm going to try to finish this video. So rude. He's so rude. He just jumps on everything. Okay, so when you are posting your TikTok, make sure you're using hashtags and all of that good stuff. Just type in hashtag photography and some cool ones will pop up. You'll see the most popular and stuff. I love that um, TikTok does that. And yeah, let's also watch this. Malibu, spending daddy's money with Great, and that was it. That was my TikTok. Let's see how it goes. I hope you guys learned something here. If there's any information I forgot, I will see you later, Elsa. I will definitely leave it in the comment section down below. So yeah, keep a lookout for all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. What do you think, Billy?